Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I would ask my honourable colleague from Abbotsford to withdraw the accusation of hypocrisy. Everyone in this place knows that it's a requirement of our job to travel to our ridings, to do our work, and to be here in this place. And I find it offensive, Mr. Speaker. But my question to the honourable member for Abbotsford is, how can he have such a short memory? Bill C-38 in spring of 2012 was the omnibus bill to end all omnibus bills. It was more than 400 pages long, and it changed 70, 70 different bills. It repealed the Kyoto Implementation Act. It repealed the National Roundtables Act. It repealed the Canadian Environmental Assessment Act. Repealed it with an and replaced it with an entirely inadequate piece of garbage, which this bill is a bit better than that, I have to say. It's better than what was left in 2012. It's not adequate, but it's much better than what we were left with. And in the words of former Conservative fisheries ministers, it gutted the Fisheries Act. Bill C-38 was never attached to a single technical briefing period. I sat at this desk and read all 430 pages, and by the time I was done, I saw that decades' worth of environmental laws were pledged to be destroyed by the previous government. And does the honourable member recall a single technical briefing on that omnibus bill? The honourable member for Abbotsford. Well, Mr. Speaker, I think I'm going to have to ask her to withdraw a comment. <laughs> the 2012 legislation, as I mentioned, was focused exclusively on streamlining the process without in any way undermining the environmental rigor of our system. And yet those very legislators who supported it and all the people that fed into the process, she calls the end of that process garbage. Can you imagine? We have a member of parliament calling our work in this house garbage. That is offensive to Canadians, and she needs to apologize. Yeah. 